Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm back playing the Global Tournament. A lot of you guys wanted to see my games above 25 wins, so here they are. Um, I think I'm going to be playing on two different accounts. But yeah, like and subscribe if you enjoy the video, and let me know if you want to see my games past where I'm going to end in this video. Saying I don't lose out, I'm not sure what will happen, but yeah. And also, let me know if you want to see me try for top 1 in these next few days. I'm on spring break, so I do have a lot of time to play. So let me know if you want to see me try for top 1. And yeah. But it looks like this guy's playing my log bait deck with like the Dark Goblin and Val uh, Valkyrie and the cannon, I think. Okay, I'm just going to guards here. This is the best guards placement for the Goblin Barrel. I'm down a little bit of damage here, but I can definitely make a comeback. Gonna go princess here in the middle for these guards. Okay, he goes for dark goblin. Um, I can go Valkyrie here at the bridge. I'm gonna go for... Actually, I guess I could just wait. Might go for a goblin barrel, but... Yeah, I need to goblin barrel to get my cycle, like, fixed. Because I don't really have anything for that Valkyrie. So I'm gonna barrel. Then I can go for e-spirit and guards. Um, he might Dark Goblin, so I don't want to Princess. Okay, unfortunately he doesn't, so I could have Princessed, but I didn't really want to take the risk. That's kind of, that's kind of, that kind of sucks, but I'm just going to Barrel. The reason I went Barrel there was because I knew he didn't have Log. That's why I quickly cycled my Princess and then Barrel, so I could uh, outcycle him. I'm going to Valkyrie at the bridge, because I don't think he'll expect it. Yep, he didn't. And then, um, I'm going to guard the bridge on the left, because he needs to defend both sides, and I want to be kind of awkward for him. I'm going to log this barrel. Okay, his guards died on my guards. I'm going to go for a barrel right now. Okay, I got the damage back, which is nice. I'm going to E-Spirit Princess predict his Dark Goblin. Okay, he puts it down low, which was smart by him. Well played. So if he put it in the middle where they usually do, he, it would have just instantly died and he would have got destroyed. I, I'm not going to predict the Valk yet because he does put it in the middle this time because he got predicted last time. So he didn't want to risk it. Um, I'm going to log here on this barrel. I could go for a rocket here now. We're gonna princess. I'm gonna e spirit to predict the possible princess and Valk the bridge. And then he goes for barrel. I'm just gonna log and then I could just rocket the tower. It's nice not having to worry about the barrel. Be um, like, I mean, his princess at the bridge because he doesn't have one. But yeah, I'm gonna e spirit off to the side just to help out here so I don't take too much damage. And then. I'm going to Princess to Bridge. Okay, oops. I thought the guard was going to be dead, so I'm not going to get a shot, which kind of sucks, but it's fine. I'm going to log here, and then I'm going to go Valkyrie. He's probably going to Dark Goblin in the middle. Okay. <laughs> that was a terrible Dark Goblin. <laughs> I'm going to go for a Barrel here. Um, I'm going to go E-Spirit, and then Princess. Actually, I'm going to Rocket instead. No point to Princess, because... I'm princessing in the middle, like, for, forgetting that he doesn't have one himself, so I don't really have to worry about him putting it at the bridge. I need the Valkyrie on top of everything. He's gonna Dark Goblin, so I need to be careful. Uh, I'm gonna go Guards here on top. Oh, uh, relax. I'm gonna go for Barrel here. Okay, he goes for Valkyrie. I'm just gonna Inferno Tower. Okay. I'm just gonna log the tower because I just need two logs and a rocket to seal the game. And then if he goes for a barrel, I can just full counter with the Valkyrie. Okay, just be careful. Okay. Okay, the one on the right's not gonna die, so I need the barrel. Yep, and now I can rocket log for the for the win. That was a pretty nice match there. Played pretty well. Caught that guy good. Um He didn't really know what to do. I don't know. He didn't really play that well, but a nice first match. I'm in the next match against this guy. Um, this guy BM'd me before. I remember his name pretty clearly. Because I, I guess I got upset that he BM'd me. But yeah, I don't know what this guy uses. Okay. Looks like Mortar. Okay. These guards are going to clean up nicely. Okay, he goes for Archer Queen. I'm just going to Princess to snipe the Archer Queen. Princess is good to snipe the Archer Queen because it always does a lot of damage. Okay, he has a Tornado. What? Okay, wait. He might have a Giant Sparky, actually. I faced this deck before in Top Ladder. Like, there's this one dude who uses it. And maybe it's this guy. 
You should have like minion horde bats and stuff like that and like E giant sparky. Oh my god that E spear got so much value. Nice. I'm just gonna log these guards here. I'm gonna go for a miner but okay he doesn't. I need to watch out for the minion horde. That's probably gonna be like the deal breaker. It's probably gonna be the hardest card to deal with in the in the deck. Um, I'm gonna just gonna guards at the bridge here. He goes for miner. I'm uh, I'm gonna princess on the miner because I have rocket for his minion horde. Even though he does have sparky, I don't really need to worry about it. I'm gonna go for a barrel in the corner here because he does have tornado. He could activate, but I get the most damage from this position. Okay, yeah, I got some damage there, which is good. I might go for a minion horde here on the Valkyrie or the princess. He goes for a minion horde, uh, I'm gonna have to e-spirit and then guards. If he had miner in hand, I would rock it, but since he doesn't, I can just go for a guards kite. Okay, um, I could just, like, log the tower princess, or I could log or princess, I'm just gonna log, um, and I could go for a barrel off to the side, because he's gonna guards on the right. <laughs> nice. It's nice being able to know what your opponents are gonna do. It's like when, when, when they're as bad as this guy, you get to know what they're gonna do. He's gonna miner. Yup. <laughs> e spirit. You can log. Then, okay, I need to princess to distract the sparky, actually. E spirit to reset. Then I can go for guards. Um, I can go for a log as well. Unfortunately, my princess dies, but... Okay, I'm gonna go princess here and then Valkyrie to protect it. Pretty nice sequence there. He might go for a Sparky. Um, need to be careful. He goes for Sparky. I'm not gonna rock it. I'm never really rocketing the Sparkies because I don't want him to go for a minor minion horde and get me good. Um, I'm gonna log this here and then I'm gonna go for another princess. Okay. Okay, that E-Spirit was... Really nice there as well. I'm gonna guards in front to protect it again. Go E Spirit and Barrel. I'm gonna log this uh, Archer Queen. Oh, I, I might hit some of the guards. Okay, I don't. I'm gonna Valkyrie in front to keep it alive still. I'm gonna go for Princess to get the Minion Horde of the Bats. Okay, Minion Hordes. I'm gonna start BMing this guy because I know I won from here and I really don't like this guy, so just have to BM him. Um, I can just go for a log can just cycle my guards. Go for princess. E spirit and then barrel. And this should be game. Cause he's gonna go guards. Yep, and he does a terrible placement because he's a terrible player. I'm just gonna log rocket and to finish off the match. <laughs> just keep BMing this guy. <laughs> it feels good to get revenge. I'm in the next match against Saudi. Um, I'm just gonna Inferno Tower here. Okay. Um, he, he goes for Dark Goblin on my Inferno. I'm just gonna log. Okay, see what he does here. He might activate the King, which wouldn't be that great. Okay. He doesn't activate the King, which is good for me. Um, okay, he I'm gonna guards in the front, because... Usually when they minor, they usually put it like somewhere in the front, like on the left side or the right side. So I put my guards there. Okay, he goes for Skelly King. I'm just going to Valkyrie in the back towards the Skeleton King. P pretty safe play overall. Can't really get punished for it. Okay. Not really sure what version he has. Um, I don't think he has a minion horde. So Goblin Barrel plus Princess could be pretty strong. Because I don't think he has uh, a log either. I'm going to go Barrel Princess here because he might scar me. Oh, wait. What? Uh, That's not good. He has both of the cards that I thought he didn't have. So <laughs> not really what you want to see there. I thought he didn't have either of those cards and he had both of them. <laughs> that's not what you want to see. Uh, I have to E-Spirit here and then go for an Inferno Tower. So even though I did do that misplay, I should be good still, but I am down some elixir, like two elixir or so. Okay, I'm down I'm up one now. When I log this, I'm I'm down one. 
Okay. I'm gonna block the corner. Okay, um, I'm gonna barrel here in the back, and then I could go for princess. Oh, this is a really nice princess here. Okay, he goes for minion horde. Um, I'm just gonna e-spirit here on these bats. Uh, I need a rocket to this minion horde. I'm just gonna do it now. He, okay, he pops the ability as well, thinking that my Valk would die, so it's really good that I rocketed there. I'm gonna guards here, then go for barrel. Don't have to worry about scarm because it's not in cycle. Okay, I'm gonna log this dark goblin, and then I'm gonna go... E Spirit Princess right here, I guess, and then go for an Inferno. Okay, not bad. It's still going to counter. My main goal was just to kill the Minion Horde. Well, obviously, I would have preferred the Princess to survive, but it's not really the end of the world. I'm just going to Valkyrie here into the Skeleton King, just always doing the safe play. Then I'm going to log this Dark Goblin, just usually almost always logging the Dark Goblin. I'm going to E Spirit here, then Princess on the side for the Skarmy. Then uh, I'm going to go Barrel here, and I think... He might minion horde, so I'm gonna get my rocket ready. Nah, there's no way. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go guards here. I'm gonna log as well to kill this mortar and the dark goblin. Valk, E Spirit. Okay, my princess is alive, which is great. I'm gonna princess because he might put bats. Okay, he goes for Skarmy, but it's fine. Okay, I think he's gonna minion horde on this one, like right now, so I'm gonna get my rocket ready. Yep, he's going to. I need the rocket. Come on, please hit it. Ah! Uh -huh. Nice! That was a really nice rocket there. I, the second he logged, I knew he was going to minion horde. I was pretty sure he was going to before, but when he logged, I for sure knew. Uh, I need to E Spirit here, then Inferno. I can let this Dark Goblin go, I guess. I'm just going to Princess in the middle. Okay, it's going to snipe the Dark Goblin. Okay, I need the rocket here. Um, okay, fantastic rocket. Missed the miner, didn't hit one of the minions. Uh, 10 out of 10 rocket right there. Cost me 700 damage. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't cost me. Because that, that would be really frustrating. Um, I'm going to go for an Inferno Tower here. On this Skeleton King. Then uh, E Spirit on the bats. Go my uh, Princess. Barrel and Log. Okay. I'm going to go Rocket again. Okay wait. Oh my god no. E spirit guards please no okay i'm just gonna barrel and then okay i'm gonna inferno this and then i have to princess this too i guess log okay valk e spirit log okay i just need to rocket the tower um can't really play any games here i just need to rocket and oh okay there's no way for him to get more damage so i guess i won uh I played really well in the beginning, but then I started to like choke near like the last minute, but thankfully I still won. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and let me know when, what you want to see for future content. Thank you, and bye.